Brazil's social organizations and progressive movements held a massive demonstration in Curitiba on Sunday, April 7, to mark the one-year anniversary since former President Luiz Inácio Lula da Silva was imprisoned, a fact that stopped him from running in last year's presidential elections, despite the strong lead he held in all opinion polls. Over 10,000 people rallied in front of the federal police headquarters where Lula is imprisoned to demand his freedom and reject the policies of far-right President Jair Bolsonaro. He fought for the poor. He wanted people to study. He promoted the Maria da Peña law, the only law to protect women in our country. That law is not the basis for other laws in other countries. He comes from the same place as us. He's one of us. He can't stay in jail. He has to be here with his people. Today marks one year since he was in prison, a leader who ruled for the poor, who ruled for the majority of workers. That is why he was persecuted and varied from running for office. If he would have been a candidate in the last elections, today we would not have a fascist president that rules for the rich, for bankers, and represses social movements. Lula sent a letter to supporters in which he reminds them that there is no evidence proving his guilt, adding that, despite being separated from his family and friends and not allowed to give out any interviews, his voice won't remain in silence, thanks to the millions who support him in Brazil and around the world. Lula represents hope for the people. He was a president who promoted social inclusion, people's rights, and the integration of Latin American countries. The people who were against that, who did not want the people to have power, were against Lula. He was jailed so that he could not continue with these policies. He was put in jail so they could take away people's rights. One year after his unfair imprisonment, our duty is to set Lula free so he can lead our resistance. I think we are in a better moment than one year ago. The far-right government is losing popularity among workers. So I think we are ready to start a meaningful resistance to set Lula free and bring democracy back, not only to Brazil, but to all Latin America. Demonstrations in support of Lula's freedom took place in several Brazilian cities and around the world. During the event in Curitiba, left-wing leaders said that only the people could reverse the injustice the former president is suffering 